Drop it. <laughs> What's up YouTube, Hunter here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Hello World application in Java. So this will work on Linux, Mac, and Windows. So you want to go to Eclipse.org, and you want to go to their downloads page, and when you get here, you're just going to select what operating system you have. So I'm on Mac OS X, so I just select that. But if you're on Linux or Windows, you just select it for your respective OS. So Next, you just want to go on 64-bit or 32, depending on which one you have. So I have 64-bit, and I'm just going to click on that, and I can just click on this mirror. Now, I have it downloaded right here. So when we open it, it'll open an archive utility and pretty much just make a folder called Eclipse, which when we click on Eclipse, it'll have all the stuff in here, and you're like, where's the program? Well, you'll see this little Eclipse here, and it'll be Eclipse.exe if you're on Windows, but there's no really extension that we can see on Mac. I mean, I'm sure if you right clicked on it and hit get in get info then you could but it's just called this so you just double click on it and once you've set it up and all that you'll get something like this now what you're going to want to do is whether you're on Mac Windows or Linux you just want to go up and hit file new and we're gonna make a Java project so we're just gonna call this hello world and I'm gonna change the default um, Location or somewhere I want you can leave it on there. So I just made a folder on my desktop called test hello world So I'm just gonna hit open and finish Now once we get it open we can just hit on this little drop down Triangle type thing right here and we click on the source and we're just gonna hit file new and we're gonna find where it says class So once we're there, we're just gonna type in let's just call it hello world uh, I'm gonna make the H lowercase actually so pretty much you just do the name you want to leave the source folder alone because it already has it in mind it already knows where it goes so don't mess with that you can mess with all this stuff once you know what you're doing and one thing that you want to do is just click this part where it says public static void mainstream args because uh, that'll just create that for you in the Java file so next we'll just hit finish now if it's still like right here on source, you can just go into default package and you click on hello world.java. So right here, like what does this mean? Well, to start off, it's just defining where the class is. It's called hello world. Well, actually, not define like a class is not an external file. It's an internal file. But like you can have different. Well, actually, sorry, I'm doing a horrible job at explaining this. But you don't want to mess with any of this, pretty much. Now this is probably this is right here saying uh, pretty much from what my understanding is right here this little statement is to resolve any arguments it has so that's just what all that means if you wanted to know I'm sure you can Google it now I'm just gonna tab over now unlike Python where the tab means like it's inside of that object Java really doesn't care because you can write all the code on one line if you want but that would really be horrible and hard to edit and read and all that and you want to make this pretty simple to read so sorry what we're gonna want to do is just we're gonna make a capital S and we're gonna type in system dot out dot print ln well actually we don't have to do a print ln because pretty much you can just do a print which will stay on the same line so right here where you see it it's just on hello world and that would be on one line I mean it's still on the console from when I was debugging this app when I made it earlier but pretty much it'll look like this so it'll say hello world now, when you do a print ln, it'll start at the next line and wait for input or output to do. So we're just gonna let, leave it as a print file. You can also do print ln. It's the same concept. You just add the ln right here. So next, we're just gonna do a parentheses, and we're gonna do two quotation marks. I'm just gonna get out of this, and I'm gonna do a semicolon, because anything you make really needs to end with a semicolon to show that it's done. Because you can write it all in one line, and Java's not gonna know you know hey this is where this ends so it's just syntax and all that so it's not too hard to memorize and all that but so we're just gonna type in hello world okay so we get no errors on here which is that's good if you got an error you did something wrong so next we're just gonna go up here and where it says run hello world now if you don't find this option you can also just go run and debug I mean not debug but run but I like it I like to just use it right here so you'll see it actually down here we're just gonna let it load up 
So this is what the app will do. We can also say like, uh, let's just change it. Subscribe. If I spelled that right, I don't know. But anyways, so it'll just um, do whatever you run it to. And in the next video, I'll show you an intro on different variables and how you can make them do stuff like a calculator app, which is pretty simple, obviously. And all that, so don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. See you all next video. Bye.